Very good day to you people. My name is Mohitan guys. So I'm going to show you a very cool, nice uh, text effect. Uh, let me first show it to you by hitting Control Enter on my keyboard. There it goes. So you see this message which says uh, coming soon quality touch that touch. That's for tutorials. Short for tutorials actually appears in that uh, nice typewriter effect. But the three, you know, the three words preceding that coming soon and quality actually um, appear uh, as a chunk of, you know, as as one single word. But then the touch appears as letters, separate letters. Okay, um, all these words have different uh, colors. So let's see how this was done purely on the timeline, completely without action script, guys. Uh, the action script wasn't uh, used uh, at all. It was done purely through masking and uh, shapes. Let's see how this was actually achieved. Cool. Right, so let me say a file and a new. And let me change the background color. So that's a new Action Script 3 file. The width is 550, the height is 400. The frames per second has defaulted to 24, which is fine. And let me say, okay, let's start. Let me uh, type in some text. I'm gonna say, um, visit. Quality lessons dot net. Right. Well, let me just increase the font size a little bit. Guys, the, the font that I'm using is rough typewriter. You can use any other font, which is completely alright. That's a pers personal preference. Okay, let me center it up using the alliance panel, guys. So hitting this icon and this icon. I'm in the center of the stage now. I place the text field in the center of the stage now. Cool. Now, guys, making sure that my text field is selected. Right, right. Now it is. Uh, I'm going to hit Control B twice. That's Control B once, and uh, that separates each word into individual uh, letters and then I'm gonna say control B once again now each and every letter is actually a shape so I'm gonna say control B twice until and unless I actually reach to that uh, you know the raw level of it being a shape now each and every um, letter is actually a shape if you actually have a look in the properties uh, panel it's a shape now whether I click on the first letter V or somewhere in the middle which is letter L or let me hit on this letter T, T for Tango. Each of them are actually shapes now. Next guys, uh, let me rename layer 1 to mask. Let me call it mask. Let me insert one more layer. Let me make sure the mask layer is at the top. Okay. Next guys, uh, what I'll do is I'll right click on the mask layer. I'm going to say mask. The moment I do that, guys, everything on the stage actually disappears. Not in the real sense, though. The moment I unlock layer number two, you can actually see that the text message has actually come back. Right. And then, guys, uh, making sure that I have selected the first frame of layer number two. In fact, let me rename layer number two to shapes because I'll be placing shapes out there okay and then selecting the first frame of the uh, shapes layer I'm gonna draw a shape okay so let me change the color to let's say a green color making sure that the stroke uh, is set to no stroke right and then let me draw a rectangle like so around the first word which is visit right Next, guys, um, let me go to the 10th frame and highlight the top and the bottom frame. Press F6 on my keyboard, right, to extend the frames. Uh, basically, I have, added, uh, I have added keyframes on the 10th frame on the mask and the shapes layer as well. And then, guys, uh, I'll uh, deselect the rectangle tool and then select it once again let me make sure that I'm not using any stroke color and then let me choose a different 
color for the uh, the fill and after that guys I'm gonna draw yet another shape like so around the second word which is quality lessons right now that I'm done let me highlight the 20th frame I'm gonna press F6 right and then Uh, guys, I'm going to change the color all over again to a different color now. This time, let me go with uh, something like, uh, let's try this color, right? And then let me draw a shape around the letter this time instead of the word. Okay. And then, guys, uh, I'm going to hit F6 on my keyboard to extend the frames just by a single frame. And then I'll be hitting this free transform tool. Then I'll be hitting this shape, the yellowish shape. And then I'm going to extend the shape to cover the next letter. I'm going to press, press, you know, then I'm going to make sure that I deselect the shape by clicking uh, outside the shape. I'm going to press F6 on my keyboard, guys. I'm going to make sure I select this yellowish uh, rectangle. I'm going to extend it further. Okay. I'm going to deselect it. I'm going to press F6 once again. Okay. I'm going to extend the shape further. I'm going to press F6. I'm going to extend the shape again. Okay. Deselect. Press F6. Extend the shape to the next letter. To cover the next letter rather. Right. Deselect. Press F6. And uh, click on the shape once again and cover the last letter as well right and then guys let me leave uh, around 10 frames and press F6 to extend the frames then uh, after that in the end guys I'm gonna make sure that I press F7 to add blank keyframes to wipe out everything and then uh, roughly add 8 to 10 uh, more frames and I'm gonna press F5 to extend the frames okay so the last 8 to 10 frames are for that wiping effect you know just just making everything disappear guys I'm actually done now so I've used F6 F7 and F5 at a lot of places F5 is uh, you know extending the frames F6 is to add a keyframe and F7 is to add a blank keyframe okay so guys uh, you as you have seen everything was done uh, purely on the timeline so uh, let me hit control enter to show it show to you exactly what we have done the with the only problem is that the dot net you know you are not able to see that word dot net so let me change the color of the stage to a different color uh, let me try this color let's see yep right so the first word visit the second word quality lessons and uh, then dot net actually appears in that nice typewriter effect but the first two words appear as a chunk of a word not a letter all right so guys i hope you like this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it and i hope to see you very soon with yet another flash and action script 3 tutorial you have a very good day guys bye bye peace